Anybody explain to me why our garbage man looked like a powdered donut this morning? Uh-oh. I think maybe we're in trouble. Son, you're in more trouble than you know. Now, I hear Mr. Tackleberry has given me a job in his store following his poor wife's death, and you go dump 25 pounds of powdered sugar all over his trash man. Why, that poor soul looks just like a ghost. I'm sorry, Dad. It's just so we thought it was those kids from school who tried to break in last time. But we couldn't prove that. Maybe not, but they ruined that beautiful birthday cake you made for our teacher just the same. As big as a wedding cake, and Charlie Snodgrass rides over with his 10-speed bike. Well, we'll try it this time with a simple box of cookies. <sighs> Only stay away from Charlie Snodgrass. Mr. Tuckerberry, are you okay? That sausage didn't go down quite right. I think my ulcer's acting up again. And don't you guys make any plans for tomorrow morning. But tomorrow's Saturday. Somebody's got to pay off that sugar. Besides, I've got a large contract to fill. Look, if we can get it done, maybe we stand a chance of getting out of the red and keeping this store open for good. Now that that's settled, let's get the store ready for business. inside the back. Theodore, one of these days your belly button's gonna go pop. It shows that much? Well, maybe you got just a little more cream filling around the middle than most people. Hey, Batso, what do you got in the box? Whatever you do, don't rile. I won't. Come on, Lord Bucket. 
what you got in the box. Oh, go eat a bug. That's real brave, Toad Brain. Come on, Thank boys. You yeah, me and my big mouth. Theodore, you gotta face and make a freight train take a dirt road. What you got in the box, teddy bear? Cookies. Did you hear that, boys? Cookies. Yeah, boss, we like cookies. Would, would you like to try one? 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 We'll take all of them, teddy bear. Oh, to Miss Richards. Oh. A few brownie points, huh, blubber face? You asking for it, Snodgrass. I'm gonna put you on my prayer list. Guys, I think it's time we taught Mason a lesson. Yeah, boys. Hey, guys, who says it's gay? Yeah, yeah! Hey, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Good morning, class. Let's come to order now. Oh, well, it looks like someone's given me a surprise. How thoughtful. See, Chubbs, I told you we'd give it to her. Hey, Theodore, do they come with a spoon? Remember, Theodore. Snodgrass ain't worth popping a blood vessel for. <laughs> fatso, fatso, nothing but a fatso, fatso, fatso. Give me your attention. Be quiet. Who do you think you are? Yeah. I hope you're all satisfied. You kids think you're real big making fun of Theodore, making him feel smart and worthless. You, Billy, and Frank, and Jody, we all go to the same church, and look what you're doing. You don't follow along with Jesus anymore. You just tag along with old Charlie Snodgrass. I want to know who's responsible for this insensitive trick. Go ahead, Charlie. Tell him. You lousy fink. Charles, be quiet. You'll pay for this. Fink! Charles, be quiet! It's all right, Theodore. They don't know nothing. Come in. kids pick on Theodore. Some people just pick on other people just because they're different. But God made everyone, didn't he? Sure did. But some people just don't see it that way. But Mama, you always said people were like flowers, all different sizes and color. Everyone's special. He takes all that time to make them. He watches them grow big and strong. And someone comes along and says, I don't like what God made. He's too tall. He's too short. He talks too funny or his skin is too dark. But what we are, son, ain't just what people see on the outside. It's on the inside. Think maybe I should tell Theodore about Jesus? Sure. But remember, being a Christian is just not easy. Knowing Jesus won't make people like Theodore. They dislike Jesus not only for what he was, but for how he lived, for what he said. And it don't make no difference whether you're tall, short, white, or black. The biggest difference is living the Christian life. It's the best thing we got. You best go to bed now, son. I love you, Mama.
Lord, today was the pits. I know being a Christian ain't the easiest thing in the world to be. But I just figured since I was only 11, the devil might go easy on me. But then, he brought Charlie Snodgrass into my life, and I've never been the same since. I know you, Lord, so I'm hanging in there. But my friend Theodore don't know you, and when the devil's through with him, he's pretty wiped out. Help me, Lord, to tell him about you without painting a rosy picture, since being a Christian ain't all that rosy. And thank you, Lord, for you just being you, and me just being me. Amen. Was it his ulcer? Yeah, he couldn't sleep last night. And this morning he kept on talking about those pies we were supposed to make. Then he collapsed. Come on, let's go. Seems different without Dad. Man, he's always worrying. I know what you mean. My grandma worries. Well, losing that contract will really put us under now. Who said we'd lose it? Mason, who's gonna fill out those orders for those pies? Guess. Oh no. Why not? No way. Look, we know everything about pie making. But 75 banana cream pies. Creamy, smooth, rich banana filling with that white fluffy topping and that famous taco berry crust. You really know how to hurt a guy. All right, we're unstoppable. OK, boys, line up. Line up. Guys, we haven't had a good caper in a long time. Boss, what's a caper? It means stealing, stupid. Oh, sorry, boss. Got it, Shorty. Got it, Charlie. Now, if we're gonna do things right, we gotta get organized. First, we need rolling pins. Oh, there they are. Bowls. And flour. And 75 pie pans. Think maybe we ought to call the Pillsbury Doughboy? Oops. You're looking at him. Now, some of the gang ain't here. Why is that? Maybe they don't like you, boss. boss. You don't see it. Yeah? Well, I want you guys to get them. And when you do, this is our plan.
other way, and I'll meet you in the back of the store. Okay, yeah. go! when you keep your chin up? Come on, we'll get some more pies. Oh, okay. You know what I wish? You want a great big jelly roll. Well, Theodore, you deserve it. Uh, I wish every kid at school had a friend like you. You're the best friend I ever had. Aw, oh, shucks. You're not so bad yourself. Last night I felt bad about Dad. About what happened at school. Did you stuff yourself with jelly rolls? No, I punished myself with a dish of jello. What flavor? Just plain gelatin. I didn't deserve a flavor. I know one thing. When I die, I want my tongue buried separately. Theodore, the Bible speaks to those who are chubby. Proverbs 28.2. And put a knife to your throat if you're a man given an appetite. It's a little radical, but it does the trick. Of course, there's always Jesus Christ. Can you help me lose weight? Well, judging by the size of some of the people at church, it's hard to tell. Most Christians don't smoke, dance, or drink. But they sure do eat. But there's no telling what he can do once he comes into your heart. Think there's room for him? He can help you love yourself, Theodore, because he loves you just the way you are. Okay. Now, some of you guys go down to the end of the alley with Shorty. The rest stay here with me. And no mess-ups. I want every pie destroyed. Now go. See, you have to count the cost. You have to realize you're a sinner. A sinner? Me? Everybody's a sinner. There ain't no way you can get to heaven without accepting the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart. Of course, it also means you shouldn't hate Charlie Snodgrass. I knew there was a catch. Okay, you guys. When I give this signal, block him in. Shorty's our backup unit at the other end of the alley. Now you guys stay here. I can't sugarcoat it, Theodore. Accepting Jesus means putting away sin. How about it, man? The closest thing I've seen to Jesus is you, Mason. I want him in my life like he's in yours. Let's pray. Jesus. Can I call him Jesus? Sure. Jesus, I don't like myself very much. And sometimes I eat too much, especially when people don't like me. But it's not working, Lord. I keep getting bigger and bigger and liking myself less and less. Mason said you love me enough to die for me. I believe, Lord. Just help me like myself the way you do so I can love others. Amen. Welcome to the family. I sure hope we make it. I think. Tribulation, here we come. Get on, Theodore.
You could say that was the inner Charlie Snodgrass and his gang. But it sure wasn't the inner Charlie's troubles. You see, sin cost, and it cost Charlie's dad a bundle. First, there was the broken fire hydrant, $524.18. Then the car repairs, $433.75. Not to mention Mr. Crawley's can of paint, $12.95. Mrs. Brown's laundry, $8.50. And finally, the broken stuff at Mrs. Roberts' yard sale, $24.50, for a grand total of $1,003.88. We didn't charge you for the parts. Mr. Tackleberry got back from the hospital, okay? No problem. Just has to watch what he eats and to stop worrying. Say, man, God can do anything. Overcome evil with good, overcome our weaknesses with his strength, and best of all, when he saves us, he makes us brothers in the family of God. Right on.
but that tomorrow could be my last day. She never was unrealistic. She always knew that apart from a miracle, that uh, she had fatal disease. June, what words can I 